Backdrop Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you the timeline and in particular how you can add filter effects to the timeline. Well, you can't. The only way you can redo that is in After Effects, but you can actually create a sort of pseudo effect and here's a little trick to do it. Now, I'm certain there's other ways to do it as well, but this is one way. So you've got options here for the type. You can actually vary these. You can obviously just click these little dot watches and apply transformations. Of course, if you're using custom shapes, the actual list will be different, but I'm using type here and like transformations, opacity, etc. But I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is effects. And first thing, just quite a little bit of setup initially, and that's just go to layer, smart objects, convert to smart object, because I want to add smart filters. So filter, and blur and Gaussian blur. Uh, I'm not going to have it that much, so I'm just going to set it to about two. Click OK. Now, what I'm going to do now is move the playhead. I'm just going to move it along a little bit. And now you could obviously do it in very, very small, subtle changes. So you can apply subtle changes of subtle blurs as well. So just move it to there, about middle point. One. Now, go over here for the layers. You can see you've got one layer, but if you go over here, you can just say split at playhead, and you'll notice suddenly you get two layers. Now, it's still, you've got the Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur is still there. It's, it's actually still got the same setting. So, for this one, type copy, I'm just going to click there, and I'm just going to make it go up a little bit, three. And I'm going to just go along now to two. And again, I'm just gonna, you've got two layers there. Now, split at playhead, and you'll notice you get three now. And I'm going to go there. I'm just going to go to five, and just going to go there and split a playhead. Again, click there, make that. Now, if you make it too much, it's a smart filter. You can actually go back to it at any point and change it, so it's not sort of the end of the world. So click OK, and I'm just going to do the last one. Of course, I could do all the way along, but I'm just going to do it. Finish at that point, split a playhead. Again, don't want it too much. It's amazing how it can easily go up a bit too high. So 19. Okay, so once you've actually done that, you can actually now see you can just go through there, and there you have it. You've actually got type just varies over time. Maybe not very subtly, because obviously depends how small settings do these, and also the setting of the blur itself. And that's that. But the key thing also here is that it's a smart filter and smart object so you can actually just go over to the layers and you can actually just go to there just double click and it'll come up with the word type right now i can actually alter that so i can select all of that and i'm just going to go for the word sun okay and just move that down now of course i could even vary the color here i don't have to obviously keep that as that so i can just say select all that and maybe go for different color as well. Okay, exit out the PSP file, save. So once you've done that, it's now going to go back, and straight away it's changed all the words. Now, of course, you could have a whole paragraph or page, and again you've got the same vary. So once it just goes back in here, you've got to go through all the things. Now, now what I'm going to do? Stop that point. And of course you can still manipulate all these if you wish, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select all of those and I'm going to turn those all into a smart object. So convert to smart object. So it all becomes a single smart object. And again, you've got the options to add transformations. So you can actually have it rotate style. Okay, next thing to do. Just going to go back to the start. And I'm going to actually now, as it's a smart object, still smart object, so I can actually go to filter and I'm going to add a filter effect wave oh, sun. So it's actually going to be applied to all of that. Now, if you fish go along, I'm just going to go say along to that point, and I think actually I don't want that to filter for all of the uh, timeline. I'm actually going to use 
again a split so I can actually go up here so I've just got one layer so I can actually just go to split a playhead and that will be split split apart and the key thing is to actually remember to deselect it otherwise you actually find that you right so you've got wave I'm going to remove that I don't want the wave and I'm just going to go to filter and maybe one of the other ones so distort I'm going to go for zigzag instead click OK so the zigzag, zigzag effect is applied instead now I can just go back to the start again just go. and sometimes it's actually quite slow because it's actually obviously processing all thing you actually it's probably quicker actually just to use, go to the end and go to time and then obviously go to the start of the work area or end of work area if you want to go the other way now play it again and you will actually see it will run through now it's probably quite slow it's going to do the blurring it's still got the blur it's still there you can actually see it's slightly blurring and just still got the wave and eventually it will actually get to the zigzag so it would suddenly just change now of course again you could actually apply the wave slowly maybe blend in the actual zigzag and so it doesn't actually look straight away bang suddenly ch big change and of course you can do the same again and you can actually just continue this sort of model of smart object it's just gone just at that point so you can actually still stop that there and it will stop right and select those and make that a smart object and then break it down even more so there's a whole load of possibilities in terms of making sort of filter effects now obviously it would be nice if filters were available in the options there as well so you could actually set them really nicely with a sort of anyway this is one way of doing it hope you found this of interest thank you much